I had uh, well spent youth playing football and lots of other sports. Uh, my pathway, my coaching pathway started coaching running basketball, junior running basketball. I first noticed wheelchair basketball at the sports centre. Uh, did my conversion course to become a coach. Was invited by Aces Wheelchair Basketball Club to join them. I had great mentors there and within a few years it took me that long really to understand again to then become their coach. My first international event was as assistant coach to the Great Britain Junior Men's Team. Uh, we were at the inaugural World Championships. That's where I saw the best junior players in the world with their skills and their traits and my aim then was to help our athletes develop the same but that meant that I needed to understand the game better and develop myself. My suggestion for coaches uh, is to follow a pathway to where mine started and my 10 things to consider, although not primarily, uh, these are just things that are relevant to me. First, plan and prepare with attention to detail, essential. Two, teach youngsters all ages, four years upwards in multi-skills and movement. You will learn to teach skills, not drills. Three, teach people with all aspects of disability, the, the whole spectrum including Downs uh, syndrome and autism. You will develop empathy, not sympathy, and understand how to coach skills not drills, notice I keep saying not drills, to people with ability. Four, spend time with school teachers, see how they plan, prepare, deliver, teach skills and develop a diverse group with a variety of characteristics, different topics and challenges daily. Don't just copy what everyone else does, uh, or what everyone has done or does or is doing. Be different, be innovative, learn the art of skills acquisition uh, athlete development and self-development. Six, create relationships. Empower the athlete to take ownership and let them learn through your direction and then their own discovery. Seven, allow what your athletes do to speak about you. You don't have to do it yourself. Eight, find, look, listen, read, learn from the numerous products and outlets available about a variety of sports. Be a student, not a fan. Nine, what you do and everything you want your athlete to do should be meaningful. Be ready to answer the why of everything. Ten, think about the phases of learning. What are the four key phases of learning? One, acquiring and developing skills. Two, selecting and applying skills and tactics. Three, evaluating and improving performance. Four, knowledge and understanding of, of fitness and health game tactics and game sense. This was and continues to be my pathway. As the saying goes, when you're through learning, you're through. Good luck on your pathways. Mm -hmm.